Carl? Hello? Carl? Yes, sir. Beloved, what are you doing? You at home this early? Well, I came up. We didn't have much today. I know it. How are you feeling? Feel fine. How did uh, did we make everybody mad with their civil rights speech? No. Everybody loved it. Never heard of it. I haven't heard anything but praise. I didn't see your man Ford. Well, he's been out of town. And that, that had nothing to do with it. Uh, I released a statement about his statement today. I hope it makes the papers. We try to get the papers answering him, but they won't they won't publish it. I think you're going to have to go to hold some press conferences when he does and off the record like he does. Uh, I noticed uh, three very damaging things that one of the heads of the Bureau gave me today. I don't have it with me. Run in there and get the, the statement from the Baltimore Sun so I can read it to Congressman Albert from Bill Moyer. You know, I had a press Phil. statement today. What? I had a press statement. Today. Yeah, I knew you did. Tell me what happened on our on our on our higher education. I just well, heard about it and I'm crying. I just bleeding down here. I, what's the matter? Well, because I lost seven hundred million dollar bill. No, you get it. I can't. They won't get it in the house. Oh, that old lady Green, you know, is a mean old level. She'll have a no. She'll have a religious amendment. Morris is mean in the Senate, and I don't believe I can wait on him two more weeks. You'll get it. We we. Can there some way in the world, under some rule, that you get some get consent to take it up uh, Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday? Or oh, we've, got, we've got too much to do this week. We've got the, What the hell? You haven't got anything. We've got the Economic Development Act. The well, ARA, what? Yeah, that's right. That's all. And we've got the, uh, that's uh, all. Uh, the uh, that's Military all. Construction Appropriation Bill. Well, I can pass that in an hour. We'll pass that. An hour? Now, come on, come on, come on. Well, yeah, that's not anything. We have no problem getting well, it up. Well, you, you know it, but you got to wait two weeks. No, we don't either. How, when, when can you get it up? They told me that you had to have it the first or third Monday. Well, we can, but, and you know, Powell left us, and we, we told oh, no, but we got the people that he, would, that, that he wouldn't be here for it. And wouldn't that, you let me call him and ask him to come back? No, uh, but we, we, it won't do any good at this hour. Why? And that included Republicans. Why? Well, we told him that uh, they asked us if we were going to bring it up. He said he wouldn't come in, and he's the only one that can call Well, us. you just tell me when he won't do that, and let me try to get him, right. because I just hate to lose that separate. Well, you're minutes. not going to lose it. Let well, you're going to bring it up the first and third Monday, they tell me, Carl. Well, that's under the 21-day rule. You can get it under a rule. You can get uh, it under... Uh, well, you haven't got a rule, though. Well, we can get a rule. There's no problem. When can you get a rule? Well, we can get a rule within the next... Uh, Ten days on that bill. Well, I know it, but I, you see, I've got a Senate with Morris. I don't well, think you understand. You see, see, we've got less than three weeks, Carl, when they want to get out of here. we got more well, than... Well, they can't get out in three weeks. They you, might as well forget that. It's going to take about six You got all your immigration? When are you going to get a rule on immigration? Have you got a date for a hearing in the Rules Committee on that? No, we haven't, because they've just, they've just, you know, they only filed the rule at midnight tonight. That's right, but... Uh, from the House. We, uh, we'll, we can get it right. He, he, not, not until that rule is published can he ask for a rule, and he won't ask for a rule till Monday. Yeah. And we, we can get a rule on immigration and uh, higher education. We don't want that. Either one of them come ahead of agriculture, because it's much higher than, harder than either one of them. We'll get them both. You have no problem on Bill, the, the bill you have a problem on is agriculture. Well, what do we do about agriculture? You have a you have a problem on this bill next week. What do we do about agriculture? Right. What do we do about agriculture? I don't know. We've got to. We haven't got a good count on it. We've tried to count, but our count is too many questions. Here's one. Here's what my friend says. I direct your item to Newsweek Periscopes. Sam Schaefer is one of the Ford's guests. And the president, while briefing leaders, digressed to mention his worries about the soundness of Sterling. Unquote. Now, Carl, that's so goddamn dangerous. Sure. Is. That we have just, we don't talk to, I won't even talk to a former Secretary of Treasury. And we've been on the phone day and night. I was up to 1 o'clock this morning with the Secretary of Treasury, with the Deputy Secretary of Treasury, with the Chairman of the Federal Reserve, with the Chairman of the World Bank, at 1 in the morning. He goes and tells Newsweek what I tell you in private. And that's the first paragraph, unquote. I also, Mr. President, direct your attention to the last paragraph of Willard Edwards' place in the Chicago Tribune. He was also at Ford's briefing. At the White House meeting this week, Ford said the President expressed great concern about the British pound. Well, Handing it to the United States might have to support it. 
you own the postscript. I also direct your attention to U.S. News. Mike Mansfield, the majority leader, cautioned Johnson there would be strong opposition to the Senate to his declaring a national emergency and calling up reserve troops. Howard Norton of U.S. News and World Report was also one of the guests at Fort Laird luncheon. So there's three items that he put out in the uh, Newsweek, in the Chicago Tribune, and in the World Report. Well, uh, if, if somebody from the from the Republican side, when you when you mention those things as, as part of the framework in which we're operating a very tough situation in Vietnam, is going to say that, what in the hell are you going to do? I'll do what I'm going to do. If you and McCormick... We'll do anything you want. All right, I think you ought to call him in and just say, now, here are three items, and every goddamn one of them were brought up there, and we didn't put them out, and they all at your backgrounder. Now, if the president can't talk to you without these things getting out, well, then we're not going to do it anymore. I think that ought to be done. Now, the next I thing, next I thing, I think we, I think we ought to just be tough and able on these damn things and, and take it. The second thing I think we ought to do is I think we ought to meet here Monday afternoon, if you and John are both going to be in town. I'll be here. We ought to look at our bills and just go hit the ground on Tuesday morning and let's just get them in shape and see what bills are, where they are, and how we're going to get them up. And then let me get... The, the, the Senate group may be Tuesday, and then a little later in the week, we'll get them both. I don't believe we do too well when we're all there. I, I think if we just take up the House group, one group, and then the Senate group, another group, we can do right. better. Have us in Monday night. And we we got a chance to make the greatest record in the history of the world. What we can do, and we can tell you what, when we can do it all. Now, all right, now I've given you all a list for three weeks, and you haven't knocked a bill off of it. So I want to really pass them. We had a bad week this last week. With you didn't do a damn thing, Empshire. Interest equalization is all you passed. Well, we passed. We had several well, rights. they had a conference for it, but anything. We, we're gonna, I don't count conference. We're going to pass one of the big ones next week. And What's we that? We're going to pass higher education if yeah. Powell had been here. Now, not high. And Powell's got to take responsibility for not Well, we it. got him back, though. We got him all the way to Puerto Rico, and we raised hell with him, and he agreed to come back. By the time we got back, you all had flown the cup. Next time, you all tell no, me if you can't get him. When we, when no, we you ought to call me up and say, Mr. President, your higher education ought to come up Monday, and I can't get Powell. And I say, okay, let me get him. Well, I worked on it. I worked on it all week. I, I know, but you ought to told me. You ought to told, me. told me. You didn't call me. No, I didn't I'll call him. him and go. i got to get him. We just can't let him go this way, and we've got him now. Well, but we've blown the cup. He's going to be here to be recognized Monday 11 o'clock, and we told him we sent for him, and damn you, you've got to come. And I'll call every human being that you ask and ask them to be here if you let me. But if you want one. I would have if I'd known that I didn't want well, to bother you with it. I don't think the higher education is a major problem. It is, because we got Morris and Green, and anything they deal with, it's major. Every inch, every hour, I'm scared of this Morris. He's demanding to be impeached. I got the damnedest thing with him, and he's handling higher education. Well, and if I, can, uh, I can't get him to pee a drop till y'all pee. And then, then you're going to take we, another... We we uh, we had told people that we needed you. Listen, we, we took this up with the, with the top people in our in in uh, our, in the house that are dealing with this. Well, now you see, if you take it up to me, and I've gotten pal as I have gotten him, you wouldn't have any problem with well, him. you, uh, I huh? didn't know you all were going to call him. You, I'll just call him and I'll up with me, because I was I was. I will call him. I thought you and John McCormick deliver your own chairman. If you can't do it, let me know it. I'll deliver. Well, we would have, but we tried to deliver him, and and uh, we were told that he was that that he said that he didn't want to be bothered by the White House or by us, and that he didn't want any of his bills up Monday. Now, listen, this is just not uh, this is not just a play for for the higher education bill. This is a play that involves the FEPC. I don't, uh, he, he told me this before that he he wants to get it up. Who wants that up? And, and uh, the uh, minimum wage bill. I, I know you're for it, uh, but I think they're going hog wild. They are, and that's all right. You can just kill the living hell out of that. Don't quote me. Kill, really, but I don't well, know whether we can or not. Well, don't quote me. Just don't I, quote I went, me. Well, I and I sure wouldn't let them get that civilian pay. Now, listen, Carl, let me tell you this. Now, if you and you and John McCormick got to be Mr. Raybert. Now, I've been letting well, you all off. Let me tell you. Don't, I don't run. I don't yes, run. you did. You did. 